I am currently on my Australian Outback farm, so please don't mind all the blowflies that are going to be hanging around. I am in COVID quarantine at the moment, so this is where I am remaining isolated from the public. It's pretty isolated. So today, to keep me busy, I'm going to build a peg climbing tree. Now, you may have not heard of peg climbing tree. I never have, but I decided to invent it. It's the exact same concept between uh, behind a peg climbing wall where you might find at a rock climbing gym or a gymnasium where you have a plank of wood with a, has a whole lot of holes in it and you hold two wooden dowel rods or pegs in this case and you ascend this wall by inserting them and removing them from the holes as you climb up and then you descend back down. Now the equipment itself is very simple. I mean it's just a plank of wood with some holes and you hold two pegs but executing the exercise is actually very difficult. It requires entirely upper body strength and your legs are in no resistance and you're just essentially pulling up your entire body's weight. So it's not easy. So I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna find a dead tree which seems appropriate and I'm gonna create this and give it a go. For this project, you will need a ladder, a sanding disc, a hand drill, a spade bit, a measuring tape, a marker, some scrap wood, two wooden dowels and a couple of clamps. So the two dowel rods I'm gonna be using for this project, for the pegs, are left over from a previous project, nothing to do with a pegboard. So they work out perfectly for this project. The only problem is that they're 40 mil in diameter, whilst the largest spade bit I have on hand is 38 mil. And I can't get any bigger ones right now because I'm in COVID quarantine. So I'm just gonna to have to make do with it. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna sand these down to about 37 mil using the circular disc sander. So the first thing I'm going to do is clamp down this spare piece of wood. And I'm doing that because that way I can drill a hole through it with the spade bit and then test out how my sizing is going with the dowel rod as I sand it down. I want to make sure that it's going to be loose enough that it slides through the hole but it isn't too loose that it could easily slip out because as I'm ascending the tree, that could be very dangerous. Now to test the sanding after first go. Okay, so still much too wide. And that's why I've got this hole to just test it here. And again, okay, so it's already getting closer. It's starting just to feel there, like maybe with a hammer, I might be able to get it in, but still needs to be much looser to slide all the way through and all the way back out. Okay, test three. Perfect. And I even decided to sand the edges here just to help it find its way into the hole. If it was sharp like this, it might grip on or catch on something. Next, I'm gonna sand up this second rod, just like I did the first one, even them out, clean them up so they look nice, and then head out. And then head out and find a tree to finalize this peg climbing tree. So I think we've found the perfect tree for this job. It has a nice bit of girth, so I have room to put in the holes and keep those pegs nicely separated at around shoulder width. It is relatively straight with a little bit of Ford's lean, but that's actually quite nice because as I climb, my legs are gonna dangle. And if they were right against this, it would probably grind and scratch away my skin and not be so pleasant. So having that Ford's lean helps them sort of dangle out a little bit. So I'm gonna get started on this. I think we've got a winner here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is measure up where I'm going to put these peg holes. The only thing is, unlike a rock climbing centre where the peg climbing board would be perfectly parallel with its holes, this is a tree. It's got uneven surfaces. It's got parts where it goes in, it's got parts where it comes out. So the measurement's never going to be perfect, but that's okay. It adds a bit of technical difficulty as I climb. 
So I'm just gonna make it around 11 inches. I find that's a sort of nice width where it keeps it nice and tight, but it's not too tight for me, not too wide. And I'll go from there and see how I go. Perfect. Last hole. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record. For the record, yeah. For the for the record, yeah. for the record, yeah. for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the.